guys, welcome back. So today, I have experimented with two fishes and created the exact same recipe to see if they taste the same. So we have smushed these two videos together and see what it's like. Now on to the video and enjoy watching. Hey guys, welcome back. How are you guys? I feel amazing like usual because I have no other feeling. So today, um, I'm doing one of the most requested videos um, cause I did a previ previous video of my mom cooking fish fry which was delicious, not just for the video, it was true. And so they, many people requested to do a full video, video of how to marinate it, put the spices and all that recipe stuff. Okay, so today I'm here with you step by step to create a fish fry masala recipe which is amazing everyone uh from different countries can try this because it's awesome so we are gonna be cooking what is it called again oh yeah sea base is that what it's called or is it something else eh. so let's get on to this video or this way but let's just get on it so we have cleaned the fish you can see how clean it is uh, we took the scales off um took the fin off so that is ready now um we put spices on it because you can just eat the fish plain yeah gross okay so we have spices on it this is medium spicy if you want to go on top do it add more of all of this but a little bit chili powder so that's very but who wants to give it a little low don't uh, add too much just like the right amount okay so these are the things we're, what we add this is cashmere powder you can add chili powder for some spiciness um ginger garlic uh fennel seeds fennel greek nice greek -y. and pepper uh turmeric and coriander Thank you, Mom, for helping me. I'm not good. So we all um, we put all these spices into the blender, and while we put everything, we also add two cups of ghee. Oh, <laughs> two spoons of ghee. If I'm so sorry. And then we add a little bit of sour lemon. I've tried it. It's off. Okay, it's sour. Okay, so let's get into it. Yeah. I've marinated the fish right here. You can see um, we added the masala. Um, so this one is a little bit more covered and this one has on the lines. That's why we made the line so it like it gets in. While I was marinating, I was at my drums class. Okay add that effect <laughs> okay so right now we are going to put the fish on this pan big pan um we added some olive oil and some coconut oil we added olive oil just to get a very nice taste so my strong uncle and so it will have a lot of damages but it's nature it does take a lot of time to like flip it very carefully so it doesn't sorry doesn't like um how it hot like sparkle so now we had the leftover masala that we actually like uh, put over the fish and we put it in some onions to give it like a really nice taste. So let's add some. Can I add? So um, right now it's cooking. It's a nice bronze color. Oops. Hi. Oh, okay. okay, my eyes are watering like heck. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to look. 
So you give you like um cook them for about like five to ten minutes, right? And so yeah, that's the boils. We are boiling in the same oil as the fish, so it gives like a nice fishy taste. And we're setting the fish aside so it's resting, sunbathing. Okay, so yeah, let it wait. So you know what happened? So when we were making this, the fish was like swimming out of here. So we thought of putting it in a separate plate and cooking the fried onions. So now we had to have two. Add, sorry, I got a little mess, messed up. So we have to saute and add a little salt. <laughs> And now we have to add the juicy tomatoes. How the heck do you do this? I'm not used to the kitchen doing this stuff. But I do make nice noodles. It's the noodles. And nice teas. I make really nice teas, right? So now we're again saute. Now the tomatoes are, well, juicing the, um, what is it called? Oh yeah, what is it called again? Oh yeah, onion. <laughs> okay, so right now it's juicing the onions. And so, uh, if you want a little colorful and spicy, you can add some chili powder just to give it a little bit more redness and just make it look like paint. And so, yeah, done. So right now we're adding the uh, traffic um, light, um, oops, uh, <laughs> capsicum. So first it's green, that means go! Not yellow right now. I can't see anything, so I'm sorry if I can't. Next is slow down. Yellow. And slow. You slow down a little bit because yellow means like slow down. Okay, and red means stop. That's the finishing touch. Oops, sorry. Wow, that's so colorful. So right now we're mixing. I'm gonna so right now we're mixing it all together. Um, right now it's looking like a traffic light and all this stuff is mushed up. But it looks good. It's very spicy. You can feel it in your eyes when you sometimes cook it. Yeah, so yeah. Now we're gonna add my favorite spring onion. Um, I actually did a video of how to grow it, but um, the re what happened was this is actually store bought because the ones we put there because of the we we put it too much close to the heater. So uh, my dad had to throw it away. So it's kind of sad. Okay, no side parts. Okay, let's add add it. Oh, it's sizzling. Yes, I'm a chef. Not this. <laughs> Almost done. Mm. And oh yeah. Now we're gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix it. Mm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna put the fishing fish in. It does not vibe. Okay, so we're gonna put the fish in so we can cover it, and that will create like a masala, and, and like you just like cover all over it. So please put it. <laughs> I talk a lot. Wow. I just want to take a bite of it. Like, you can either, like, cook it without the masala, but, like, if you want, like, a healthier and, like, nutritious, this is the way. But, like, I, like, this is the style. Fried is where, like, Indian style is legit written all over it. So, oh, yay, we're putting it on top.
Now we have to let it set for five minutes so it can soak in like water, like in the fish to get that nice taste. So, see you in five minutes. Bye. Five minutes is fast. What a time. So right now we're adding our final ingredient, which is coriander leaves. So let's add it like a chef. Like sprinkle all over and just like stir it. Wow, that is amazing. And you can see a little bit of spring onions because like I mixed it up. Wow, that is it. That is the finale of your fish fry masala. Yeah. So I'm not gonna eat this right now because it's le legit sizzling. So when it cools off, I'm gonna eat it because of course, why do we get this? I'm the main chef. Okay, so that's how you make it. It is so simple. That took a few hours, but it takes all our effort. So it took just like one or two hours, but we did have a few breaks, but this is awesome. Even without tasting it, it looks amazing. a million times and it's amazing not to brag so here we have some first up we started off with olive oil or the olive oil and for the fish we added some spices like so first up um chili powder and some black uh, ground black pepper, coriander powder, uh, and ginger garlic paste with lemon juice. And we also made cuts, so inside it will also be very crispy. Um, so we place the fish. It's You can hear the bubbles. It's very satisfying. Okay, so right now I have some onion dipped in the remaining masala of the fish. You don't have to make new ones. Cause um, so we are gonna put this on top of the fish so it gets a little spicy texture. Uh, so don't make new masala because if you like if you want to get the taste um, of the fish, you might wanna uh, keep it the same. So I'm gonna add it. And then when you add it fully, you mix it well. With your, you can also use a spoon, but for South Indian style, we use our hands. That's our utensils. Okay. Now we're flipping, <laughs> flipping it. It's very oily, so it's very hard. And we kind of have, if you're making this at home, you might want to stand back. So it doesn't like come on you and burn yourself or someone else. The skin might just went a little there, but it's okay. It's fine. Mistakes happen. Now we've moved it to the side. It's very loud. And we're going to place some more olive oil. And my mom is going to saute. Over to the side, and so in the same olive oil, my mom's gonna saute the onions and gonna mix it. Now we're gonna add juicy red tomatoes to the masala and mix it. Now let it melt with the onions and the masala. And so, then we will add some coriander leaves. Now we're going to add the coriander leaves and spring onion. Ooh. And mix. Can I try? Now the fish 
is almost fried and the masala is almost ready. And don't deep, deep fry the fish too much or it will have a, a texture of bird. And now we're going to uh, add the masala on top of the fish. This is your choice if you want to do it or not. If you want, you can just put the masala for just some taste. It's very loud, so sorry if you can hear me. So now it's ready, but um, since we don't have banana leaves, because in India, South India, there's a banana leaf and we serve it in it and decorate it. But since we don't have that now, we're just going to serve it in a plate. But if you are in South India or India, you can definitely put it in banana, oh, banana leaf. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys try this out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you really like this video. So see you on my next one. Bye. I love you.